You've got to believe in yourself. Your self-belief will propel you to greatness. You have to understand that in life, there are people who make things happen. There are those who watch things happen. And there are those that say, what happened? Don't be that way. I want you to imagine yourself 50 years in the future. And you're sitting in your home. You're sitting in a room. And you're by yourself. And it's cold. And it's, and it's lonely. It's a little bit dark. And you're sitting there. You're an old person. Okay. Maybe now you're in your 70s, 80s, or even older than that. And you think about your life and how it's, it's passed by. And it's almost towards the end now. And you look back and think you didn't do. Places you didn't go. People you never met. Things you didn't do. The dreams that never became realized. Because you were afraid. Because you were lazy. Because you procrastinated. Because you let someone else's opinion of you become your reality. Look at your body. It's all disease written. You never took care of yourself. You don't have any teeth. You know, you're just old. You, I mean, everybody around you is, is, is old and you just kind of hang out with them. And you think about, yeah, you know, if maybe in their life. <laughs> yeah, I can, you know, look back and see things that I didn't do. And maybe in their life. And you realize there's no other life. This is the only life you got. You're going to be reincarnated. You're done. All the dreams you had. The place you wanted to go. The cars. The homes. the Anything. It's all gone because you were too lazy 50 years ago to make your dream come true. But wake up because you know what? That's not reality. Your current reality is that you are not an old person 50 years older than you are today. You are still who you are today. And that future does not have to await you. You don't have to wake up 50 years from now and say, man, didn't work out. You could wake up 50 years from now and say, yes, I live my dream. I'm living in my, my home. I have my, my family. I have my health. I have my, my legacy set up for, for future generations, for my, for my current children. And, and for my grandchildren, or whatever situation may be. And you know what? It's not about becoming rich. Because I think a lot of times people think that success is based on how much money you have. More people who are upper middle class and rich commit suicide than those who are poor. So it's not about that. It's about knowing that you had something that you wanted to do and you did it. And that made you happy. If you want to be a millionaire, I mean, there are many ways to, to go about that. Some are legal, some are easy, and some are not. You can play the, the lottery. You can, you can gamble. Okay? You can try to invent something. You can try to marry someone who's rich. You know, you can marry a millionaire or go into a game show. The point is to be happy is a harder goal, but a more sustainable goal. Because being happy is something you can do right now. Being rich is something that happens later or maybe never. But being happy, that happens when you decide that you're going to live your life in a way that is always moving forward. It's always planning. Always doing. It's like when your person who works out. You can't just work out, get in shape and say, ha, here I am. Now go back and start Going back to eating bad foods and not exercising and, and not sleeping properly and doing the bad things. No. When you get to your goal, when you get to your, your goal weight and your, your strength is there and your body where it needs to be, you sustain it. Same thing with your goals. By you laying down your goals on paper and reviewing your goals and stating your goals. Saying that I will be this and this is what I will do to achieve this goal and this will be my result by this date then you know that you're having a sustaining relationship with your goals it's not just something that you're just wishing a goal that is not written down is simply a wish if you have the answer that you're going to try I will try another thing is to try Okay, you either do or you don't. You can't try. 
Can I try to stand up? I either do or I don't. Can I try to drive my car? I either do or I don't. Can I try to tell someone I love them? I either do or I don't. The point is made. You need to go out there and do for yourself. Because you know what? As I said before, and I'll say again, if you don't do it, then we all lose. I want to experience what you have to offer. I want to see what you have to show. I want to read your book. I want to, to meet you and see that personality. Don't let the world lose what you have to offer. Don't hold it in. Don't have all of your gold hidden in a box. Don't have all of your talent hidden inside. Don't have your genius sitting on a shelf. Do it. We need you. You need to do it. Do it now.